Hey, hey, what's up everyone? Stockton here from Better Than Data and today's video is going to be kind of a show and tell of some results that we are going to go over. So the concepts that we're gonna be covering are related to Google Tag Manager server side. So one of the concepts around Google Tag Manager server side is this idea of tag consolidation and being able to remove JavaScript and different codes from your website directly and the events get sent through the server side instead of being triggered directly on the page. So that's what we're gonna to explore today with some results from my test site that you may find interesting. And I know I found it quite interesting. Now you don't have to be as advanced to always be doing stuff with server side and messing around with that type of stuff. No matter where you are on your tracking journey, there's probably some hurdle you're facing. There's probably a next step you can get to. If you want help identifying what that hurdle is and what the next step is for you in your personal situation, we have a quiz prepared over at better than data forward slash quiz that you can check out and get your personalized recommendation and hear from JJ and I on what we think you should do next to overcome whatever your tracking hurdle is and improve your skills. All right, let's jump in. So what I wanna show here is, let me show my face, is kind of the theory of what we're talking about. So right now, if we have our page, okay, and we have Google Tag Manager on our page, and inside Google Tag Manager, we have all these different tags, well, right now they're all being fired from the page to the ad platform source. So for example, we have, you know, Facebook that's sending data directly from the page to Facebook. We have, this is going to be terrible mouse drawing here. We have Google ads, right? That is interacting with the tag on the page is sending data directly to Google ads URL. And then we have TikTok and we have Snapchat and all of these platforms are sending data from the, the website, from Google Tag Manager by a tag to whatever the platform is. So the idea of tag consolidation is instead of having all of these platforms interact directly from the website to the ad platform, we can introduce the server side Google Tag Manager container where instead of having many tags here, you only have a few tags, one or two tags. And those first send data to the server side container, but then the server side container has all of those different marketing tags that then sends the data on to the other platforms. So what we're effectively doing here is we're reducing the number of you know, requests and the calls and the loading of all of the codes that need to run directly in the browser, sending data to the different ad platforms. And we're, we're saying, you know, instead of having all of these outbound requests and loading all of their different external JavaScript libraries and things like that, we're going to just have a single tag that sends data to the server container. And then it's the server container's job to then forward all of those details on to everywhere else. So to conduct this experiment, I've got my test store here. So it's WooCommerce. And I loaded it up with all of the different tracking tags, not all of them, but like a lot of the tags that we see are really common. So we have Google Analytics, GA4, Facebook, Klaviyo, Snapchat, TikTok, and I think that's it. So those six. And we ran a few different tests with those six. And I used GT metrics to get page speed insights for that. So to establish a baseline, the first tests I ran were without any tracking, uh, without GTM even on the page. So these are some of those results. We've got um, largest contentful paid at 853 and 2.4. And I ran it multiple times just so, you know, we're not relying on one test, um, just as a way of uh, myself kind of validating results here. So uh, then the next one without tracking was 619 and fully loaded of 2.2. And I'll just kind of run through these. I put all of this in a table at the end. So then um, we have 518 and 2.3. So it's kind of seemed to me like the more tests I did, almost better performance got. It's like it was warming up the server. This is a server hosted on DigitalOcean. Um, but then I tested change location. So these, the first three, I did four tests. The first three are always in Vancouver. And then the last one is in San Antonio. And I am in Las Vegas. So that's kind of the locations. Um, when GT metrics ran from San Antonio, it was higher on all four tests. 
So that was the first benchmark there. Uh, test one without tracking. Then this one was when I included GTM with all of those tags. So all six of those different ad platforms, actually it was more because there was Microsoft Ads and Microsoft Clarity as well. So then we ran the test and we went from what was it over here? 853 to 629. Performance even got better. Fully loaded though is at 3.4, whereas 2.4 over here. So that that metric did increase when we introduced all of the different tags and GTM. We verified it with three different uh, tests. So 479.2, 563, and 2.2. And then when it ran from Texas, 1.5 to 4.5. So it went from three to 4.5. And then we ran one more test where we consolidated tags. So the tags that were able to move to server side. So server side currently has these tags available to take the one stream of data coming in, whether that be the GA4 tag, uh, most likely the GA4 tag. And then the server container takes that GA4 data and uses it for all of these other tags. So the ones that we were able to move to server side was Facebook, Google ads, Labio, Snapchat, and TikTok, and the ones that were not able to move to server side were Microsoft Ads and Microsoft Clarity. And these were the results after consolidating tags. So from Vancouver, 637 uh, and 1.5, 580 and 2.1, uh, 655 and 1.5, and then from Texas, 765 to 2.7. Now I put all of this in a table, and what I found was that the ones with GTM and like both of these where there was tags and GTM on the page almost did better than when it, when GTM was not installed at all. So I was like, that's weird. Maybe the server like was just being really slow and I was first testing this for some reason. So I did it again. So I did without GTM installed round two and we got more expected results. Now, of course, this is kind of in a lab setting. So it's gonna vary completely depending on real live people coming and visiting your website, different devices, different internet speeds, all of that sort of stuff. So this is GC metrics, uh, kind of a laboratory experiment. And that went to 685, 1.1. I'll just quickly scroll through these. 646 and uh, one second there. 614, 983, 933 milliseconds, and then 1.1 to 1.4. So we put all of this in a table just so we can visualize it a little better. So here's that first experiment, test one. We've got all of the metrics here. And what I found really curious was these two metrics here. So without GTM, the first test was 2.5 seconds and 93 milliseconds, or 933 milliseconds. Um, with GTM and all tags, fully loaded average was at three seconds and on load time was at 1.31. Then when we did the consolidation of tags, it went down to two seconds on average and 0.78. So this I think is where the interesting part is. So we did save a full second on fully loaded time when we moved those tags to the server side. And keep in mind that it's also just, that's kind of just the page view, right? It's not taking into account any of the other events that a user would actually take on the, on the site, uh, clicking around, adding to cart, all of those different things. Um, so basically with GT metrics, it's just the page view, right? So on average, we did go from three seconds with all the tags to two seconds with consolidated and from 1.31 seconds on load time to 0.78 seconds on load time with tag consolidation. And then this is the round two. So you can see a big difference between uh, without GTM round one and without GTM round two went from 2.5 to 1.1 and 0.93 to 0.76. And I think that's just kind of explains like the variability that servers can have. And maybe it's just my little test server that's uh, like that, but there is variability, right? So anyway, these are the results and um, we won't go into detail on how to actually convert all of those tags from the web GTM to server GTM, but for incrementality, inc incremental performance, right? If you're looking at for that incrementality, then you definitely may want to look into moving your tags from firing in the browser to moving to server side. So I would be very curious to hear your thoughts. Have you done any experiments like this? And what do you think of my results?